Hey guys, how's it going? Uh, Dodger27 here. It's that time of year. It's the YouTube Sports Card Hall of Fame voting season. Now, to be honest, I haven't voted um, in this um, election for the YouTube Sports Card Hall of Fame in many years. Uh, I participated in the very first vote. I think it was 2018. And back then it was really easy. You didn't even have to make a video. You just you just wrote in the comments who you wanted to vote for. So I put my votes in and uh, over the years, even though, I, you know, I followed it and I, I'm subscribed to a lot of the channels that got in, that got elected to the uh, YouTube Sports Card Hall of Fame. Um, I never voted one because, as you might know, I don't make a ton of videos, but also, you know, I just assumed the guys that I wanted to get in would get in. And for the most part, that's been true. But I do have some guys um, that I want to vote for um, that have not got in, gotten in, that should have gotten in years ago. Um, <clears throat> I also want to talk about, I guess there's been a lot of uh, controversy over the YouTube Sports Cards Hall of Fame, which I think is kind of comical just because it's not supposed to be that serious. You know, we're just supposed to have fun with it. This whole thing started to give recognition to channels um, that, you know, maybe you haven't heard of. And so they get nominated or they get elected and you say, hey, let me go check this guy out. And then you kind of build a network from there. Um, and but every you know everyone uh, there's a lot of negativity around it of people that are maybe a little newer to YouTube, and they're saying that it's just uh, buddies electing buddies voting for their buddies. Um, but I guess there's some truth to that, but it's not uh, on purpose really. I mean, back in 2018 when uh, Mike, who has a channel baseball collector, started this. Um, the the hobby wasn't as big as it was the youtube uh community wasn't as big as it is now <clears throat> and so if if you weren't subscribed to mike's channel then you're not even going to know about the the sports card hall of fame and you're not going to be able to vote or participate so it was only the people that subscribed to his channel that even knew about it and participated in it and voted and and got elected and uh, you know, Mike has a fantastic channel, of course. I've been subscribed to it for many years. Um, but, uh, you know, five, six years ago in 2018, uh, he had a good amount of subscribers, but it was nowhere near um, what it is today, of course. And um, he deserves, you know, all the stuff that he's gotten. He, he's done from fantastic work over the years. <clears throat> but, you know, the point is it was a small community. Um, I wouldn't say everybody knew everybody, but you know, you knew a lot of the guys that were that were active. And so those were the guys that got voted for and, you know, elected. Um, so I, I just want to I just want to jump in because as someone that's that's been around a while, um, I feel like I have a little bit of a duty to uh, you know, uh, give my put my votes in. Uh, so when the first, when the Hall of Fame first started, uh, I think the only requirement was you had to be around for one year. I always thought that was pretty weak, you know, one year. And there were um, plenty of guys that got in on that on that one year. Um, it was recently, I don't know if it was this year or the year before, but it was recently up to three years, which I appreciate. I still think that's a little light, <clears throat> um, but it's not bad. Um, so when I was looking for guys that I wanted to nominate. I was looking for five years on YouTube. Um, I feel like that's pretty good. Um, you know, any longer than that, I I wouldn't expect anyone to stay making videos more than five years, although a lot of guys have. The five years is pretty good. Um, I'm also looking for at least 100 videos, which isn't a lot, um, but I'm not the kind of guy that needs um, whoever I vote for to, you know, put out daily videos or weekly videos. Um, I know a lot of guys appreciate that, but um, I'm not going to hold that against anybody if they only put out just a few videos a year, if they've been doing it for a long time and, you know, they, they do good videos. And I'm also looking for at least a thousand subs. And of course, you know, subs aren't everything, um, but I, I think they do mean something um, and the views that you get, because I think if you get a, a thousand plus subs, you're doing something right. 
Um, and that being said, I'm also not going to vote for anybody that has more than 10,000 subs. Um, I don't know if that's controversial, uh, but I just feel like if your channel's that big, uh, maybe you're too big for this award. And I'm not trying to belittle the the YouTube Sports Cards Hall of Fame because I think it's really great. But uh, just being there from seeing it from the beginning, um, it I, it was just meant for uh, the regular guys. I, I don't know how else to put it. Um, and this is going to exclude uh, a really great guy, Chris Sewell, um, baseball card collector, investor, dealer. Um, I think he would be a great addition to the YouTube Sports Card Hall of Fame, and uh, he could very well get in, and I think that'd be that'd be all right. But um, <clears throat> just to stay consistent, you know, I'm not going to vote for anybody that has more than ten thousand subs. Okay, <clears throat> so uh, really quick, uh, my first vote is a uh, dead guy cardboard. Uh, I've seen a few other people vote for him. Uh, this is a guy that should have gotten in probably on, on the first ballot, first or second ballot that we that we did this. Um, he's been doing content for nine years, 3,500 subs, and 156 videos, which, you know, people will say it's not a lot of videos, but I, I think it's just fine. Um, a lot of subs, um, really great content. Um Another guy that I don't think I've heard anyone else nominate, I love baseball cards. He's been on YouTube for six years. He has 1,100 subs and has done 238 videos. And his name, I love baseball cards, is definitely apt because this guy loves baseball cards uh, as as much as anybody else in the hobby. He, you can tell that the, the love and passion that he has for the cards um, I love watching him get his cards back from PSA. He likes doing PSA reveals, and he's just so excited um, over the cards. Um, okay, here, here's a guy, uh, Lefty NDV10. Uh, I don't know how this guy didn't get elected years ago. Um, he's been on YouTube for 15 years. He's done. He's, he has 1,200 subs and has done 420 videos, and he's put together a complete t206 set of 520 cards um uh he I, i'm sure he still collects braves things but you know back in the day he was braves chipper jones and um he really shifted to t206 and put all of his or at least most of his energy into that and he accomplished something really awesome which is the 520 card set t206 so lefty ndv10 uh definitely deserves, deserves to be in he should have been in years ago um Another guy, uh, Josh, his channel, Rated Rookie. Um, I think uh, other guys have been voting for him. Um, it, I think it's it's been too long for him as well. Uh, six years, 1,900 subs, 114 videos. Uh, not a lot, but I think it's enough. <clears throat> and then um, one more guy, uh, Talking Ball Cards. Um, he, he does... PSA and SGC, SGC reveals mostly, I would say, which is content that I really enjoy. Um, he's really entertaining uh, when he's doing his reveals. And I, I watch every minute of, of all his videos because they're just entertaining. Uh, he's been on YouTube for five years. He has 1,900 subs. And he's done 107 videos, which, again, I think is enough. So uh, just to recap, we got Dead Guy Cardboard, I Love Baseball Cards, Lefty NDV10, Rated Rookie, and Talking Ball Cards. Um, so good luck to everyone that's been nominated, and uh, I look forward to seeing the results. Thanks for watching.